one of the most frequently asked questions to me is how to distinguish between love and lust well what if i told you that now is a very good time where you can make that judgment now is a very good time when you can introspect inside and when i speak of love i am not talking of the love which is only between people between a man and a woman or between family members i am talking of any kind of love love for animals love for human beings love for anything love for yourself inner self worth self esteem any kind of expression of love all right so this is a beautiful time where we can introspect and we can get an idea of do we love something or we are just infatuated with something all right now you may be thinking why do i say like this because mars and venus are going to be conjunct in the sign of cancer and mars will leave to leo after some days and venus will also go there so essentially till 9th of september we are going to have this conjunction which is quite a while i would say almost 45 to 50 days so now what's the point regarding this conjunction what venus represents basically and yes before i start if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and if you want a consultation from me regarding how this transit will behave for you at an individual level depending on your existing horoscope and your dashas then you could go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website to have a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so what is venus basically venus represents people say venus is love actually actually venus is not love venus is i'll tell you what love is love is the moon actually it's not venus venus is attraction you may be attracted to somebody that is why venus is the karaka for the 7th house <coughs> Venus is also the karaka for the 4th house <coughs> all right and Venus also rules the sign of Libra which is the contract that we sign when we get married to somebody <coughs> so Venus is a rajasic planet rajas means there is always a agenda behind the moon is not rajasic the moon is satvik which means there is no agenda behind all right so what does it mean when i say there is an agenda for venus venus rules libra libra is the sign of balance which means you fulfill my expectations and then i will fulfill your expectations it's not 50 50 sometimes it can be 40 60 it can be 60 40 it can be 30 70 or it can be 20 80 also sometimes or it can be 5 95 also sometimes but essentially venus has an agenda to get things and give things and thereby seek happiness and pleasure at a mundane realm anything which gives us some pleasure at a material level that's what venus represents and venus also rules taurus as we know it rules all the liquids all the sweet things that we eat all the fragrances the entire cosmetics that is ruled by venus anything which feels good looks good anything which is very refined and very polished anything which is which adds value i would say no value added tax that's what venus is so now what happens is the planet mars which represents tamas yes mars rules the sign of aries which means mars has a tendency to think only about himself yes himself or herself depending on your gender but venus also wants to think about himself or herself they say venus is a feminine planet but when venus and mars comes together because i already told you in the beginning Venus also has a secret agenda behind. Venus wants to be happy and then wants to give happiness to others. And now when these two come together, then what happens? 
venus has a tendency to lean towards becoming more obsessed with the self that is why they say that this conjunction can create challenges in a married life or in relationships even when this conjunction is there in the sky i am not talking of uh, if somebody has this in the birth chart then this can happen but even for the whole world this can happen why because now is the time when we can become more obsessed about getting what we want rather than thinking what the other person could want so essentially this is the time where now but the precarious thing about this conjunction is this is happening in the sign of cancer which is ruled by the moon so if you want to understand this conjunction better you have to understand what moon represents well moon represents the love of the mother because that is why it is the significator of a mother in anybody's chart of course the fourth lord the fourth house they also give indications but primarily it is signifying the level of happiness and content that we feel in this world irrespective of our external this is very important how to know if you have a good moon many times people keep searching you know my moon is here there with this planet that planet exalted debilitated so confusing how to know if you have a good moon or your moon is not in a very good dignity irrespective of astrology just check what is your general feeling about life what do you think about life how do you feel the society is do you always keep feeling that the world is not a good place i wish the world was like this i wish the world was like that now of course we can have these feelings at times but do you always feel that you are a victim or you always feel that no no i should go and help others i should go and contribute to others i should go and take care of others i should go and improve somebody's lives yes so if you feel like this then your moon is well placed even if it is debilitated or in a dusthana wherever it is however but on the other hand if you feel always that you know the world owes you something yes because see what the moon is moon gets the light from the sun and it reflects back to the earth it doesn't keep the light always remember that so you can think of the society as the light all right which the light which is giving the light and then you as the moon you are reflecting it back to somebody so suppose your parents gave you love now you are giving it to your children that's what the moon is yes and that is why they say that when somebody is very young it is very important to give them love because if they, because you can't give something which you don't have to others right so if somebody is not somebody did not get love when they were young or they were very small then in this life it becomes very challenging for them to give love to somebody else when they grow up and then this can manifest in many ghastly ways about which i will not talk here unnecessarily so the point is that's what the moon represents so now venus and mars these two planets are coming together till september 9th in the sign of cancer so now is the time where you will feel like becoming more self obsessed but the sign is the sign of cancer and as i say that cancer is the best zodiac sign why it is not sagittarius it is not pisces because of course they are ruled by jupiter they are they are the best signs of course but cancer is even greater than these two signs sagittarius and pisces why because yes you guessed it right jupiter gets exalted in the sign of cancer and cancer what it represents it represents the sign of bhakti it represents the sign of emotions yes bhakti means devotion and that is what lord krishna says in the gita at the end he says bhakti mayam param kritu adat only when you have love and devotion for me spiritual life becomes easy otherwise spirituality is very mundane and at times people say it's very boring it's very monotonous there's nothing growing there but when you have love for god 
that's like the highest manifestation of jupiter that is why he gets exalted there and now is a time when these two planets which could take us towards the zone of being self obsessed is getting conjunct in the sign of cancer so now is the time that we can introspect and we can ask ourselves that if we are having some problems in relationships it can be with your friend with your husband with your wife with your mother father anybody it can be i'm not talking of man and woman relationships here with anybody then you can introspect inside and ask yourself that what is that which i am not fulfilling which is making the other person behave badly towards me what is that which if i do for the other person maybe their behavior improves towards me all right because as i always say venus venus is not a selfless planet it, it is a selfish planet it's not like the moon but now at least it is in the sign of the moon so jupiter represents all the divine qualities you see the 26 divine qualities which a great soul uh cultivates inside no and which manifests in him as the shrimad bhagavatam says you know harava bhaktasya kuto mahad gunan and before that it says you know vasudeva bhagavati bhakti rakinchana vasudeva bhagavati bhakti rakinchana sarvair gunais tatra samasate sura it means that when somebody becomes very devoted to lord vishnu that all the beautiful and divine qualities of the demigods they start manifesting in in that great soul samo damas tapas saucham shantir arjava me vacha yes samo damas tapas saucham cleanliness truthfulness you know all the beautiful qualities you know mercy forgiveness you know abundance mentality these all are the benevolent qualities of jupiter which is expressed in its highest form when it is in cancer so now is the time when we can have a look at the other party also because when there is a strain in relationships we have to understand that the scale of libra has tilted towards the other side yes so it could also mean that we have punished somebody more than what they deserved all right so this this is something which you can see if you feel that in the past you did something bad to somebody or you punished somebody more than what they deserved then now is the time that you can beg forgiveness from that person yes that i punished you more than what you deserved now when you do that that person may be showing his or her ego and blasting at you oh what do you think you will punish me when you want and then suddenly one day you will come and forgive me you know what do you think i am like a doormat i am like a douche bag that you know you will come and slap me sometimes you will come and kiss me sometimes well irrespective of what the other person does we can at least make a good effort from our side as lord krishna says in the gita that what we can do is in our control but what we get the results they are not in our control and cancer is also the sign of selflessness because it is the sign of the mother the mother is very selfless so now is the time when we can correct the mistakes which we have done before and now is the time when the energies will become very intense because it's like selflessness and selfishness both will become very prominent all right and to be honest it will depend on what is your level of consciousness to what level are you awakened as a human being to what level are you merciful towards others to what level are you tolerant and sensitive towards others all right of course we cannot please everybody that's impossible because there's only one person who can do that that's lord vishnu himself but at least we can try our best right and if we realize that sometimes that the other person is behaving badly with us not because that that person hates us or that person doesn't like us because there is something in him or her which we are not able to provide so now is the time we can have a good communication all right so the conclusion long story cut short what 
how you will use this conjunction this will depend on your individual horoscope and your association the kind of things that you listen to the kind of things that you see the kind of people that you hang around with the kind of books that you read the kind of thoughts that you cultivate yes so these things will modify the effects of this conjunction and of course your horoscope is always there but horoscope is ultimately a result of the things that you like to do that's what the horoscope is right somebody likes to do certain things that will be there in the horoscope somebody hates doing certain things that will also be there in the chart okay so in a sense let us be uh, considerate towards the other person and let us try to put ourselves in their shoes and try to see the world through them all right then hopefully things may improve and as i said even after that if things don't improve then accept it as a part of your destiny and move out from there but at least we can make a good attempt till september 9th okay and there you go that is it from my side if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and share this video with somebody who is planning for a breakup or a divorce or anything of that sort and if you are new then please like uh, please subscribe to the channel and i made many videos on venus and saturn and rahu and ketu especially so if you want to watch them you can go to my omg astrology secrets playlist and astrology basics playlist and watch them and if you want my bhagavad gita videos you can watch that also all the shrimad bhagavatam videos also and yes if you want a consultation from me please go down to the description section where you'll find the link to my website god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him hope to see you after september no we'll see each other next day all right bye bye